by 34 cars. But right now, the position he's in, he actually has a small advantage because everybody else has opened the air up in front of him. And even, oh, here we go. Trouble contact and a huge crash. Oh. Up in turn number two. Oh, multiple cars involved. Oh, my. It looks like Dan Weldon may be involved in it. And Eddie, you and I spoke about this this morning on the drive-in. Just this amount of cars, the speed, just the chance for what they call the big one. And what happens in conditions like that, you, when you're, even if you're 300 yards behind that, you cannot stop these cars. What, the only option you have is to try to avoid it. And it was Im impossible to avoid anything there. And you saw Will Power, his car involved as well. My, my, my. What a, what a mess. That's Townsend Bell that was, I think his car was up on its side there, the 22. 15 there of Jay Howard, an additional entry. Excuse me, is that the 19 or 15? I can't see with the sun shining there. Some of the car is broken. They're showing that as Alex Lloyd, the 19. It is it, the, it's the 15 of Jay Howard. Yes. One of the cars actually flew for about 200 yards in the air. Red flag is out here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway on lap number 12. And from high above, you can see the carnage we talk about the car going through the air Eddie you know that these cars run so low down to the ground we mentioned before we saw them hitting the ground and sparking that anything underneath the car underneath the floor underneath the tub really just gets the air underneath the car itself and up it will go we saw J.R. Hildebrand out of his car there is Dario Franchitti somehow he managed to get through the carnage but there guys, I mean, there's just nothing I can do Will Power did not. 10 4. They are going to stop you at pit lane on the right hand side. They want the drivers to stay in the cars. What Farkidi was alluding to is there's nothing he can do avoiding the debris that's on the track. Well, there is debris everywhere. You can see just how many cars are literally torn apart. Absolutely. Okay, this is slow motion from high above. We talked about three or four wide. Watch Sebastian Zavedra, right? Yes. A little contact right there. Now he's trying to go from the low side to the high, uh, from the high side down low to get going for the turn. Oh. And what ends up happening is that he got stuck back up there, turned around, tried to take another move going down, guys, and the back end started to come around, and that started the chain reaction. He was uncomfortable being on the top lane, and he tried, like you said, there, there's there's the car. Now there's two cars that are air to land. This this puts that's well racing in perspective. This is the horrible accident that. Everybody is, has always hoped would never occur. And as we said, 15 cars we now know of involved out of the 34 that started this race. We're under a red flag situation. We'll step aside. We'll stay side by side here at Las Vegas. All the action starts up front, Marty. As you know, we just mentioned it's very difficult to try and avoid it. And as Dario was mentioning, he's just looking for trying not to hit the car that's in front of him or subsequent cars that are there. And luckily for him, he got through before everything started to go just upside down. But it's also where you position yourself on the track. He was Patrick. Exactly what happened in this 15 car melee. And Eddie, as we know, when you're driving along at these speeds, you're going the length of a football field in less than a second. So if something happens in front of you, you can never have enough reaction time. It's, it's impossible. You have no time to do anything. What happens maybe is just a small miscommunication between two drivers. Somebody spins and you have... Eddie, as you know, we talked about it a moment ago. It's just reactionary time and you hope that there's a clear path for you to go...